Hi everyone, uh, Blood Skulls here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, core attempt on the Poison Explosion character in Prophecy League. Although uh, I am a dot build, I'm pretty sure I can do hex cores, so we'll see how it goes. Probably won't be fun later on, but we'll have to see how that goes as well. So my build pretty much involves using Void Heart with Dual Wheel Venus as well as Breath of the Cancel to uh, do a lot of damage to the bosses. And I got inspired to do um, this boss based on watching the video of the guy with the uh, Val with the uh, Aziriax, and hopefully if this build can do it, it will be a bit easier on your budget. And, um, a bit squishier, but definitely soft revival. Uh, most of the information for this build can be found in the build guide. Um, maybe I'll be doing a bit of talking, but mainly focusing on the fights. I'm trying not to die to Malagaro, as he's definitely the most uh, rippy boss out of all of them. And he's dead. So that was pretty safe for that run. Uh, you can see the insane damage of the build. Uh, I'll be right now. I'm actually using Ink AoE plus Conk effects because he knows effectively extends the range of uh, Earthquake. So having just Ink AoE is uh, not too great because uh, Conk effect double dips the damage, makes it incredibly strong. So that's my rationale behind using that. For the boss, I'll be using increased crit strikes to uh, benefit from the noxious strikes or whatever that thing's called from Assassin. Uh, the increased poison from crit damage. So I haven't actually used that in the prior core runs, which might explain why uh, they didn't go as quickly as I thought they would. So hopefully this goes uh, a lot better. Sorry for tabbing so much, it's just a bad mapping habit of mine. So, so pretty. Well, I got another offering. Guess I got kind of lucky there. RNG. Oh, and uh, probably the best part about the Malachi fight is that you can actually maintain max power charges and uh, max frenzies, which makes it incredibly good uh, for the build if you can run Blood Rage in the fight, uh, which usually um, requires you to um, requires you to run Blood Rage, which shouldn't be an issue. So hopefully everything goes well here.
bit of lag right now. So hopefully the lag subsides and the rest of the fight goes fairly smoothly. Uh, I also forgot to put my Ink Orb of Storms uh, set up. It's for generating power charges. So. for him to get away. Oh, I died there, so that was unfortunate. It's a bit difficult, but hopefully the rest doesn't go too badly. A bit, a bit, a bit hard. Hopefully that degens to death. I don't think so. But um, hopefully the rest should be pretty straightforward. I kind of fucked up and didn't use my Val Lightning traps, but I'll have to save that for when he's kind of close to dead. So 
So it should be dead now, pretty much. So yep, there you have it, the kill. Uh, it could probably be a bit easier without all that random bullshit, but um, yeah, there you have it.